kind of looking at the radar right now. We're seeing some of those morning showers that moved by earlier this morning. They're finally starting to move out of the area and we're starting to see some breaks in the clouds uh, for your early afternoon hours. But I do expect that we should probably cloud up again this evening and then some more areas of some showers moving through from the north. But you can see anywhere from uh, Paducah towards Clinton, seeing some of those spotty little uh, uh, drizzle showers, but nothing crazy. And uh, as you head further west, we're starting to see more sunshine at Metropolis sitting at 44. Um, I think there's still some clouds here, not fully sunny right now, but you are seeing a lot, a lot more of that sunshine as you head further west towards, say, Poplar Bluff sitting at 51 right now. We got 50 at Farmington, 48 in Perryville, still 40 out in Mount Vernon. Maybe they staying cloudy up there, but uh, Dixon Springs sitting at 41, Paducah at 48. So we're generally climbing, though, as that sun starts to try to break out into the upper 40s and low 50s. We're watching the wind speeds, though, as well, seeing some stronger wind gusts as that uh, Clipper system moves in from the north, seeing 20 mile per hour wind, wind speed in uh, Perryville right now and 16 in Carbondale. So I expect those wind gusts to pick up as we head throughout this evening. Now the threat tracker for today, isolated breezy uh, showers as they move through later on this afternoon, but the sunshine returns on Wednesday for most of us and will stay dry on Wednesday as well. And then a big warm up for later on this week and we'll check out how warm we go here coming up in the 10 day forecast. But right now, future clouds and radar showing that we are just again clear down south. But then as you head up north later on this afternoon, that clipper system moving in brings the clouds with it. And then after about 4 or 5 p.m., starting to see some of those isolated showers moving through our region before clearing out overnight and into tomorrow morning, where, where we'll start to see more breaks in the clouds for your Wednesday, which will be very nice to see as we head out the door tomorrow. Now our future wind gusts you can see by around 4 p.m. expect the maximum wind gusts here is getting very windy in Carbondale. Wind gusts around 23, Cape Girardeau 22 miles per hour uh, and Farmington around 20. So a gusty evening tonight before those wind gusts die down as we head towards your later today. High temperatures though the trend is going up. We see high temperatures reaching the 60s as we head towards Friday and Saturday and that's about 15 degrees above average. So really significant warm up for this weekend and then you want to keep that Storm Track 3 app handy of course just to have that weather in the palm of your hand to be able to know the exact weather for your backyard anytime you want 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now that 10 day forecast showing you those isolated showers today, cloudy conditions but we are staying nice for Wednesday with that sunshine popping out and check out those temperatures, 50s and even 60s popping up for your Friday and Saturday. So really beautiful conditions coming up for your weekend, uh, at least the early weekend before another system moves our way early next week. But get out and enjoy it because I'm telling you, we have been dealing with this rain too long. I am so thinking spring right now mm -hmm. for the next two days. It's spring in my mind. Right? Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Yeah.